with the Money Dad channel. In this video, I want to talk about pot stocks, uh, marijuana, cannabis, weed, uh, because uh, if you're a subscriber, last week you saw I posted in YouTube community posts that uh, I see this industry is kind of curling up on the stock charts anyway. The uh, the charts are curling up. They're consolidating. They're getting ready for a big move. Um, you know, I, I'm not 100% certain which direction that's going to be, but if I had to guess, it would be up. I do think that this industry is going up um, during this um, administration. Uh, so over the next you know three four years, I think uh, there are a lot of gains to be had in these stocks, and the chart suggests that the breakout is going to be to the upside. So uh, today, I told my channel members uh, I invested in a uh, cannabis ETF. Um, I have been talking about MJ the ETF uh, in the past on my live streams and some of my previous uh, videos. I did not invest in MJ. ETF today. I chose a different one and I'm going to talk about uh, which ETF I invested in today and why in this video. Um, so I want to take you guys through the process of, of deciding that. But first, let me, let me tell you why uh, I'm investing in a cannabis ETF right now. Um, so as I was just saying, I do think this political administration is, ve is very uh, favorable to legalizing uh, marijuana federally for recreational use, uh, you know, across the entire United States uh, at some point during this administration's um, tenure. So uh, I think when that happens, or at least when legislation starts going through Congress, we're going to start seeing pretty big gains uh, in the, the the pot industry, the stocks anyway, the publicly traded companies in the in the cannabis industry, and. It, it, that that's not where it's going to stop. It's not going to stop there. When the legislation goes through, yes, we're going to see big gains, but also that is going to make these companies far more profitable. They're, so their income statements are going to start to look a lot better. Their balance sheets are going to start to look a lot better. Um, from a financial and fundamental st uh, side, these companies are going to start looking better and better and better on paper over the years. So um, you know, a lot of hype right now, uh, and these gains, you'll, you'll see big gains when legislation goes through the administration and eventually gets approved for recreational use. That will be, you know, based on the future potential of the industry. And then as we start to see, you know, those, those um, realizations come through, I think there will be even more gains in this industry. So I am very bullish on the pot industry over the next three to four years at least. And as, lo and as long as it stays federally legal through the next administration, I, you know, I imagine that it's just going to be like any other industry. We're going to have, you know, profits and, and things like that. So should be good going forward. Um, so let's talk about which ETF I chose and why. Okay, so I have talked about MJ a lot on on this channel in the past. That's um, you know MJ is the is the ticker. It is an ETF, so it's a basket of pot stocks. So if you're trying to reduce your risk to the uh, to any particular pot company in the industry, you can buy an ETF and it and it diversifies your money across. All of the companies, uh, or not all the companies, but whatever companies that ETF chose to invest in, um, right? So it diversifies across a bunch of companies. Uh, but there are many different ETFs to choose from. MJ is not the only one. So I was looking into investing into MJ this morning, right? And I wanted to look at some of the technicals. I personally think that this chart is looking good. Um, you can see we've had a big run up since middle of last year you know as soon as we saw uh, the White House flip blue and Congress flip blue um, we started to see a lot of gains because everybody thought okay with with uh, you know a blue executive branch there's a far higher likelihood that we're going to see uh, a legalized uh, marijuana industry right so we start seeing gains and we had this big blow off top and now it's been consolidating right this big blow off top on big volume volume has been consolidating uh, stock price has been consolidating uh, and that's all good it's consolidating just like it did every other time it, it's a little bit more extreme this time 
But if you look back at these other consolidations, right, big blow off top, consolidation, big run up, consolidation, big run up, consolidation, and now we have this big run up. It was a blow off top, but we're just consolidating again. It's a big consolidation because it was a big run up in price, right? Okay, so that leaves us where we are today. Um, so I think the chart looks good. I wanted to uh, see what other uh, platforms thought. So I looked at TradingView. Oh, they don't have a rating because it's an ETF. It's not an actual uh, stock, right? It's not a it's not a company. It's a basket of companies. Okay, so I go over to bar chart. They do have a technical opinion and it's a strong buy rating, a 96% buy with an average short-term outlook on maintaining the current direction. Okay, that's good. Uh, long-term indicators fully support continuation of the trend. That's great as well. Okay, so it's looking good for a long-term investment from bar charts opinion. Um, I scroll down as I always do before I invest in a company. I like to read up on everything I see here on their uh, on their uh, little profile here, and I use other websites as well. I don't only use TradingView and Bar Chart, um, but these are two tools that I do use. Uh, so I'm looking at all these numbers, management fee, okay. I looked at a bunch of ETFs uh, before I decided. I noticed this management fee is pretty much the same um, on most of them. The dividend is a little bit higher on MJ than most of the other ETFs. So that's good for MJ, uh, but it's not, it's not a huge, it's not like, it's not, it doesn't really move the needle for me. Uh, it, a divi a 1% dividend you know, for, for the year is just, it doesn't matter if you're going to choose an ETF that makes 50% a year vice another ETF that makes 30% a year, you know, that's a 20% difference. If one of them is paying out a 1% dividend, it's just, it just doesn't really matter all that much. Um, anyway, I scroll down here, I'm reading some of these articles. I notice an article that lists a bunch of different marijuana ETFs. It's like, okay, that's interesting. Now I can compare all of the different ETFs in the marijuana industry. So I grab these ETFs, I go over to TradingView, I pop them into TradingView, and I start to overlay them, this little compare button, um, you know, and I start to add them all onto the same chart, right? So pot X, overlay it. Okay, MJ has outperformed pot X. Toke, T-O-K-E, overlay it. Okay, Toke has slightly outperformed MJ, but I mean, they're pretty much the same. THCX, I overlay it. Okay, THCX has uh, outperformed MJ by a pretty good bit. I mean, not quite double, uh, but you know, 39% return over the last year compared to 62%. I mean, it's a pretty good chunk of money. Uh, significant enough to choose it over MJ, right? Uh, YOLO, 110% return over the last, I think I said year a moment ago. It's actually more like close to a year and a half. Uh, and then you got CNBS, which I guess is short for cannabis, stock ticker CNBS. And it's sitting at 134% returns over the same time frame. MJ, is all the way down here at 39%. So you got all these different ETFs that track the marijuana industry uh, and they invest in whatever companies they choose to invest in uh, in their ETF. So they're gonna be a little different, right? Each one of these are a little different. That's why they have different uh, returns, right? Maybe some of them may choose to invest in one company uh, others may choose not to invest in that in that company or or weight that one particular company more heavily or less heavily in their ETF in their in their basket of stocks right so CNBS has done a very good job of choosing which companies at least in the past have you know have, have may have are going to make the most money or have made the most money right whereas MJ uh, has returned 39% over this time frame. CNBS has returned 134%. Now, you know, prior uh, performance is not necessarily indicative of future performance. Uh, you can read that in any perspective of any stock or any 
uh, investment advisors, uh, you know, disclosure, uh, absolutely. But, you know, if I had to pick one of these going forward, you're, you know, in my opinion, I'm, I'm going to go with the one that has done better in the past. I think it's, I think there's a better chance that it's going to do better in the future, right? I mean, that's why, you know, you see me talk about ARK Invest and, and Kathy Wood in a lot of my videos. She did so well in 2020, and not just 2020, uh, the years prior, too. She outperformed the S&P 500 pretty significantly almost every single year. I think I, I said in one of my videos that there was only one year since the inception of her ETFs that she didn't outperform the S&P 500. And it's been like seven years now or something like that. So uh, when you find a winner, you roll with it until it's not a winner anymore, right? You stick with that momentum uh, because you believe that they're just doing things better there. They have it figured out, right? So um, CMBS here, clearly the majority, vast uh, uh, winner here over MJ at least. Um, you know, it looks like YOLO uh, is a pretty good investment uh, choice as well. I'm not a financial advisor, but, you know, look, I mean, look, we're just looking at who performed the best over the last, you know, 15, 16 months, whatever it is. So, I mean, it's pretty obvious, right? CMBS has just done far better than any of these other stocks. Uh, YOLO to a, a lesser extent, um, but definitely better than MJ. And Pot X has just done, I don't know what they're investing in, but it's, uh, they're they're choosing the wrong stocks there. Anyway, um, so that's what I went with, guys. I went with CNBS, and look what happened today. Uh, they were up more than half a percent, while MJ was down one percent. Um, so it's kind of a fun. I you know, I don't know that it's a coincidence or not, but you know, the day that I choose to start investing into, or I started a position, I'm scaling into it, uh, a position in um, cannabis ETFs. Um, you know, the ETF that I choose is up while the ETF that I was considering is down. Um, that honestly did not factor into my decision to invest in this particular ETF. It's just a co coincidence that it is up the day that I invest in it, vice the ETF that I was considering investing in is down. Um, but, you know, I wonder, I do wonder if that's kind of indicative of how this performs, you know, we saw, we just saw on the overlay that, um, CMBS just does much, much better than MJ over the long term. So you have these little days like this where MJ's down 1%, CMBS is up, you know, a little more than half percent. And that adds up. If it's like that every day, it's not going to be like that every day. But you know, if it's like that a couple of days a week where it outperforms MJ by one and a half percent, if it does that once or twice a week, that adds up quick over the long term. All right, so that's what I got, guys. I invested in CNBS. It's a cannabis ETF, a uh, small position for now, but I will be scaling into it over the long term. All right, so that's what I got for this video, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope um, you know you're at least looking at this industry and uh, considering, um, you know, what the potential is here for this industry going forward. Um, maybe I brought a little light to it. I'm not a financial advisor, but, um, you know, this is just my opinion and, and for entertainment purposes, but this is what I am doing with my money. I will be scaling into, uh, this ETF over the long term, at least for the next couple of years while we have a, uh, cannabis favorable administration in the white house. Okay, guys, that's all I got. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Thanks.